Good evening, Phillies and Gentle Colts. This is your host, Drake Nightwing. Welcome to another installment of Let's Play Super Fluttershy Land 2. Uh, before I begin, I'd like to take the time out to thank MichaelXX2 for recommending us to Equestria Daily and getting us both featured on their website. At least Michael recommended me. I'm not entirely sure if he recommended himself, but whatever. Um, being featured on Equestria Daily basically just made my day. And in any case, I also want to recommend to recommend everybody to check out his video of the game as he's also let's playing the game as well if you haven't done so already. Uh, now I will be providing a link in the description below the video here. Um, also has an additional shout out to other bronies, uh, Knack289 and Popoman100 to be precise. I'd also recommend that you check out both of their let's plays as well, especially Knack289's because he's just freaking hilarious. That having been said, let's continue on with the game proper. Uh, now, I did mention in an earlier video, I wasn't entirely sure what the point of this particular auto-scroll stage was. But as far as I can tell, looking at it now, this is the best place to possibly farm 1-ups. Because, you got this. Not entirely sure that's really the case or not, but... Maybe not, but... I was thinking about it since all you have are these enemies that come forward. If you get any stars, you just run forward at them. And that's how you get your one-ups. I actually found a better way to get one-ups myself, and I'll probably be posting uh, a video of that maybe later on if I don't show it in this one. But in any case, I also want to apologize for some misinformation in an earlier video. In a glaring display of not doing the research, I mentioned the spin jump as being added in by Hero of Time exclusively for this ROM. This was actually pointed out to me by YouTuber Lisa Marie Fan that no, that was wrong, this was actually in the original Super Mario Land 2. I wanted to make sure for myself since I hadn't had the original game in many years, so I did go ahead and download a clean, unpatched ROM of the game just to make sure that this was indeed true. Um, this is indeed the case. The suit spin jump is indeed actually in the original Super Mario Land 2. Uh, that was my mistake. I do want to apologize again for that. Uh, this, however, was not just something that I wanted to confirm. I also wanted to confirm another suspicion that I had. And that was the the existence of power-ups and having to collect them has Little Fluttershy to be able to get into forms such as Fire Fluttershy or Rabbit Fluttershy without needing an Apple power-up beforehand. Like this Flyer Flower here. If I was a Little Fluttershy, that would still appear there. And I wouldn't need to have to be Super Fluttershy in order to be able to get the Fire Flower. So... I also noticed something here pretty cool if I can pull this off. I don't know, let me see if I can do this. Yeah, there we go. I don't know if you're able to do that on the original ROM as well. I didn't check it out, so I'm not going to bother with that. Um, another reason I went ahead and went to this particular stage here first, even though I've already cleared it, is because I do want to show off my method of farming 1-ups, and this is how I managed to get at least 3-in-1 go. I'm not too sure if I'll be able to get 3-in-1 go here since I'm showing this to you, but if I can pull that off, I'll be even happier. Let's see what we got here. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, okay, one one-up, two one-ups, three one-ups! And that's my method. Now, if I find an another faster method of, you know, farming one-ups, then I'll be sure to post that as well, but that's basically what I've done. If I've just ran low on lives, I just go do that over and over again until I gain the initial amount that I want. Um, seeing as how I've got 31 now, I think that I've got more than enough, so I'm going to go back to that one stage that I had trouble on my last video and uh, see if we can get the loss on that one. So Let's go ahead and get back to the macro zone and You know, in a way, this almost kind of reminds me of Twilight's library. 
You know, that'd actually be kind of funny if Twilight was indeed the boss for this particular level, although I would have no idea why she'd be working with Trixie of all people, but... or of all ponies, I should say. You know what, if I can, if I can help it, I think I'm gonna hold on to my Fire Flower power-up as long as I can. Yeah, if there's a way I'm going to go under. Uh, I'm not even going to bother getting these, getting these questions. <laughs> no. No, no, no. Um, I say, I'm not going to bother, uh, oh, damn you. Okay, well, I guess I'll have to take a chance then. Uh, okay, here we go. Not like the ones that this looks. There we go. Didn't think I was gonna be able to pull that off there for a second. As you may have seen in the last video, if I had any sort of um, question mark blocks to hit that had any one-ups, they'd be carried off by an enemy, and I really don't want to try to risk that. Especially since I have more lives than I think I'm probably gonna know what to do with, at least for the current bang. Here's the boss! So, who am I fighting? Uh, apparently that snips, if I'm not mistaken. Oh. Ow! What the- I- Okay? Alright, how am I gonna beat him on that? I see. I was hoping to maybe have maybe some fireballs I could probably launch at him, but then again, I don't know. I thought I hit him with one, and it just didn't seem to have any effect, but... And then again, I did jump at him from the front, so that's probably why he took damage. I'll see what this is up against here. Alright. Trying to avoid the horn. I uh, know... Okay, I thought he'd home in on my position. No. Oh, come on. There we go. That's one. That's two. One more hit. Ah, oh, darn it, I thought I had him there for a second. Oh, and he gets me with the horn. Well, when in doubt, when you fail, try, try again. <laughs> okay, let's... Yeah. It, just let him come to you. And I'm just kind of stockpiling up on these coins. I'd probably go back, better go back to that uh, slot machine and blow these off here if I can. Maybe if I'm lucky. Ah, oh, dang it. Alright. Whatever. I can beat him in my small form. I don't need a power up. Oh, that was close. Oh, that was close again. <sighs> okay, let's. One more time. 
if this doesn't work, then I think what I'll go ahead and I'll do is I'll try just getting a, a power up beforehand, coming back and just trying to get him with. Okay. Yeah, I'm at the max limit for coins here. I'm going to have to go back and blow these off. for you this time. One. Oh, should have seen that coming. Two. Like a boss, Fluttershy. Like a boss. <laughs> that makes our third element. And that completes the macro zone. Alright then, in that case, uh, join me next time as I take on the pumpkin zone. I get a very good feeling that we're going to be seeing Pinkie Pie a lot in this stage. <laughs> so, as I mentioned, um, join me next time as I take on the Pump Zone. And, and once again, this is your host, Drake Nightwing. Have a wonderful night.